welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how to create this autumn inspired makeup look. I paired it with a nude lip but at the end as you'll see I also paired it with a red one as well. So it's really nice and versatile and you can pair it with really any colour that you feel comfortable wearing. So you guys know the drill, hit that big subscribe button down below if you haven't already to join my YouTube family. And also if you enjoyed this video give me a big thumbs up and leave me some nice comments in the comment section. But let's get on to the tutorial. We're going to start off this look by priming our lids and today I'm going to use the um, lavender shade from the Urban Decay Naked Colour Correcting Fluids and I'm just going to apply this over my lids. This is just really good to counteract any darkness or discoloration or select public just there on the inner corners and then I'm just going to blend that in with my Beauty Blender. For this look I'm going to work with really matte brown shades and we're going to kind of take them from a dark brown to a bit of like a chocolatey brown and I'm going to start off with this colour first. This is by NYX. I'm not sure of the colour because they don't have them on the back but it's just like a really kind of like a pinky brown shade so we're going to start off with that first through our crease. And I like to blend it up into my brow so I'll kind of deposit the colour and then blend it up. Next up, I'm going to take this other shade by NYX as well. This is just a slightly more brown shade, so the other one was more pink and this is more of the true brown kind of shade. And this is going to layer over that pink just through our crease as our next transition shade. I like to use the same brush for this as well because I find it mixes the colours together really well. So now our transition shades are all nicely blended, I'm going to start working on the lid. I'm going to first go in with this palette which is the BH Cosmetics Pride and Prejudice and Zombies palette and I'm going to work with this colour right here. This is very similar to like Coco Bear from Makeup Geek so you can use that as well. I'm just taking that on a flat brush and I'm just going to start to press it onto the outer part of my eye. So I'm kind of working on the outer half. Once that's on, I'm then going to take a clean fluffy brush and just blend through the crease just to make sure there's no sharp edges. Next up, I'm going to go in with this dark brown shade from Highbrow. This is actually a um, eyebrow powder but I really like it as eyeshadow because it's really good pigment. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to place that just on the outer corner. And you can see how strong the pigment is. So good. And you don't have to be neat at this point, you can you literally just lay down the colour so don't worry about it being neat. I'm just patting it on. So once you've got two quite distinct and different colours, so you can see like the orange brown and then the dark brown, I'm then just going to head in with my bronzer and I'm just going to blend through the crease and blend it together. So I'm just taking a clean fluffy brush and I'm literally just going to blend straight through the crease and this is going to just soften any lines and also help to blend the two colours together. And you can start to work that up and out as well. I'm then going to go in with Mystery by MAC which again is just a really dark brown shade and I'm going to go in with the fluffy brush and work this into that outer crease just to intensify it a little bit more. So that same fluffy brush and just work that into that outer corner. So I'm just literally just building it. So of course you can make these eyes as dark or as light as you want. If you want to go further you can go for some black. I'm going to leave the darkness there because I'm going to pair it with a bold lip so that's just my personal preference but you do whatever you love. So next up I'm just going to highlight this inner corner. To highlight that inner corner I'm going to go in with the blank type from MAC and just place this right on the inner corner to the inner half of my eye. This is just going to help to really brighten the eyes back up. 
So I've just applied this black eye pencil on my waterline by Model Cut and I'm going to head in with the mousse gel liner to do a little wing on my eyes and I'll be right back. So now my brows and everything are on. I've also just applied the Peaches and Cream number 12 lashes as well which are really nice. They're very similar to the Wispies by Ardell that I normally use. They're just more. So for primer and foundation today I'm going to actually try this little sample pack that I got. I think I got this from my Sephora order and it's the Kat Von D Lock It Primer and Foundation. I've been wanting to try this, so the perfect opportunity to try it is sample sizes. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna apply this with my fingers. It's a lot runnier, the primer, than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, it smells good. And I'm just gonna apply that a little bit. Ooh. I don't know why, but for some reason I was expecting it to be thick and silicony, but it was the absolute opposite. It's really watery. Hmm, nice. I'm not sure if this foundation shade is going to suit me. It's shade 54, um, but oh my goodness, that's thick. Oh, we'll give it a go. So, as always, my Makeup Geek Puffing Brush. Oh, wow. This is quite thick. Oh, it looks nice though. Liking this. And as well, Debenhams in England have just launched Kat Von D, which is very exciting. I am really liking that. It looks so natural, but it does feel a little bit heavy, but it looks natural, so that's all good. <laughs> For concealer, I'm going to mix these two. This is the Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light Warm. And then I'm also going to pop some of the Colour Corrector in Lavender also on top of that. So I'm just going to highlight and conceal in my usual areas, so under my eyes. And then before putting on the purple, I'm just going to blend that in with my Beauty Blender. I'm just going to bake to set all that in place. And then to set the rest of my skin, I'm going to use my Mineral Foundation Powder by Amazing Cosmetics. Now all that is on, we can start to warm this face and I'm going to go in with my Galan Terracotta Bronzer in 03. I'm just going to work this down my cheekbones and across my forehead and jaw just to give me a little bit more of a glow about my skin because at the minute it's really bright under my eyes so we need to balance that out. I'm just going to smoke out my bottom lash line I'm going to go back in with that mystery shade by MAC and just blend it across my lashes. For mascara, I'm going to use the Natural Collections Water Guard Mascara in the shade Black. I'm just going to blend this bronzer up a little bit because I'm looking a little crazy. That way. For highlighter, I'm going to head in with my Mary Luminizer by The Balm. And I'm just going to apply this straight onto my cheekbones. A nice little glow. I'm just going to take my ring finger and apply that onto the tip of my nose and also the bridge. And then my cupid's bow. To finish off my face, I'm going to go in with the BH Cosmetics 10 Colour Blush Palette. Um, this is really great, it's got a ton of different colours in and I'm just going to go for a peachy one. this look I'm going to do two different lip options. I'm going to do a nude and then a bold red colour as well. For the nude lip I'm going to go in with Hover by MAC first and line my lips. I'm then going to go over that with Viva Glam 2 by MAC. To 
to add a little bit of a shine, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Melted Lipstick in the shade Sugar. You literally need the tiniest bit of this, so I'm just going to just dab it. And that is the first look completed. So this is it with the nude lip. And then this is the final look with the red lip. This I am obsessed with. I think it's so nice. And this is the Makeup Academy Velvet Liquid Lip Lacquer in Relentless. And it's just this gorgeous deep red shade. And I just love it. I think it's gorgeous. This is a really nice Christmas look too if you're going to Christmas parties or anything. But yeah, leave me a comment in the comment section to tell me your favourite lip. I was really feeling the nude, but now I'm really feeling this red. I kind of like it. And this, by the way, three pounds. Three pounds, and look at it. Three pounds. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up and leave me some nice comments in the comment section. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that big red button and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, guys, I'll see you soon. channel today I'm going to do a first impressions review video on the Urban Decay all-nighter